Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video, guys. If you have a BMW, guys, X1, and you're trying to test your coolant temperature sensor, doesn't matter if you have four six cylinder gasoline diesel engine, the procedure will be the same, guys. Why to buy a new one if yours is good? We will explain, guys, how to test it. Sometimes you may have problems with the coolant temperature sensor, but it actually may not be the sensor itself. It may be even a bad car computer, guys. We have had that happen in the past. So we're going to explain how to test it all the tools parts everything that we'll be using if you need to buy a new sensor we'll share the links in the description of the video below guys for your convenience and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from now before we start every single car we get at the shop guys we make at least 200 free repair videos why simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information let me show you what we have here guys we'll be demonstrating on six cylinder and 50 engine that you can find uh, on BMW X1 but actually even uh, four cylinder six cylinder diesel gasoline engines all of them will be about the same and we will explain guys how to do that we have the sensor removed if you want to see how to remove it and replace it we have a video and I'll try to put the link in the description of the video below that's going to explain everything about that so check it out guys also this channel right here how to repair guys this is our main channel and we have helped more than 71 million people check it out guys subscribe we have very helpful information that can save you thousands of dollars so check it out if you need help with something like that now what we're going to need two graphs i have printed for you so you don't even need to find those guys we need voltmeter alligator clips you don't even need those but makes life more uh, convenient uh, we need to get uh, water different temperatures okay and we're going to test it at a few different settings guys now we're going to set the voltmeter at ohms and we're going to start with 20 kilo ohms at first guys that will be the first setting we're going to uh, go ahead connect the sensor you have to use the alligator clips if you want to uh, be able just to dip it in water and not to be worrying about having a loose connection those things makes okay make your wife so much easier and next guys okay we're going to get water okay our water is 25 degrees celsius fahrenheit is 76 so 25 degrees celsius guys now we're going to dip that sensor in that water of 25 degrees celsius and if you come okay this is the graph right here that we have at 25 degrees this is between 20 and 30 the reading of normal operating coolant temperature sensor is okay check it out about 1700 and 2400 okay ohms what is ours 23.2 23.2 so definitely guys great reading so far if you're using fahrenheit this is your graph and you can compare that as well guys uh, but we'll be using it in celsius here so you can see right there okay in that range okay between the two lines it's where things should be good next we're going to go to about guys 60 degrees the second step we'll do 60 and it should be guys at about okay 550 and 650 so about right there you can see and that will be normal reading and lastly guys we're going to do another test we'll heat it up to about 80 degrees and should be guys should be about 270 all the way to about okay it will be to about 360 370 will be the last step 80 degrees okay right here so perfect now let's go ahead okay first step at 24 degrees celsius it's doing great guys you can see it's about 20 uh, 2300 ohms we're going to heat up our water okay next we're going to reach 60 degrees celsius it's going to take just a couple of seconds and we'll show you guys okay while we're doing that okay one person will be stirring and i'll be checking the temperature it needs to be accurate remember that so you can see how fast our water started warming already so we're going to reach 60 guys okay and we will continue so we have the water heated up guys okay we're at about 60 degrees celsius okay check it out 60 degrees celsius and right now guys okay we're at 530 reading so if you come right here okay we should be between 520 and about 620 maybe right there so we're at 530 guys right on the spot definitely guys okay great working okay sensor so far 
no problems at all what we're going to do we're going to heat it up even more to about 80 degrees now okay and we're going to see and i want to show you something while we're heating it up okay check it out now once we start heating it up your arms should drop guys more and you will notice that happening okay right on the spot right there check it out how it drops so we're going to reach 80 which shouldn't take very long by the way okay let's stir things up a little bit we're at about almost 70 and you can see our reading is about 36 at 70 okay right there about 37 so that's great 76 75 77 we're almost getting there guys Just the water needs to be constantly stirred up okay i think i think we're ready so let's check it out now okay let me stir it really good the bottom is probably still hot so we might be a little bit warm 82 degrees no well i went about 82 82 so if you look 82 we should have about 200 guys okay at about two 120 a little bit over 800 and 320 guys and we're at 23 so our sensor definitely guys working good now the smaller uh, the, the higher the temperature gets the smaller the gap gets between those and usually you will be closer to the bottom line in most cases on your bmw x4 and once it starts cooling you're going to see that your reading will start guys actually increasing the ohms will start increasing and if you need to see the one in uh, actually in fahrenheit it's right here so you can use it for your reference as well so hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time